The GHSA High School Basketball Playoffs are officially underway and we have highlights from our first game of the postseason. The Warner Robins Demons hosted the Woodward Eagles in round one. The Demons started the game on a 10-0 run while it took Woodward five minutes to get their first bucket of the game. Warner Robins would take a 10-point lead after the first. The second would be super low scoring as the teams combined for only 15 points, but the Eagles would cut the Demons lead to seven going into halftime. The Demons would close the third quarter on a 11-4 run, taking a 13-point lead going into the final quarter. However, the Eagles would start the fourth on a 7-0 run to cut the lead to six, but that would be the closest they get as the Demons end up winning 47-34. Rashawn Williams led the Demons with 19 points and one Robins will face either Hiram or Southwest DeKalb in the round of 16. And let's check out some scores from around Middle Georgia. In Class 6A, Houston County falls to Evans 64-56. Northside falls at Grovetown 93-37. In Class 5A, we know Warner Robins is advancing. And Veterans is as well. The Warhawks beat Mundy's Mill 57-51. Baldwin beats Shaw in 4A 69-54. In Class 3A, Peach County season is over as the Trojans fall to Burke County 67-66. In 1A, Public Dooley County beats Lanier County 71-62. And in Class 1A, Private Stratford moving on as the Eagles beat Savannah Country Day 68-63 in overtime. On the girls' side, in Class 6A, Northside falls at Grovetown 58-37. In Class 5A, Jones County falls at Griffin 46-29. Warner Robins all over Tri-City 77-44. Baldwin winning in Class 4A 69-30 over Shaw. And more 4A scores as West Lawrence falls to Hardaway 68-56 and Perry falling at Carver 81-25. Well, in Class 2A, Dodge County a 62-59 overtime winner over Fitzgerald. Washington County beats Early County 78-27. Hancock Central beats Chattahoochee County 59-33. In Class 1A Public, Taylor County beats Wilkinson County 63-51. And in 1A Private, Stratford beats Aquinas 47-24. The first round for both the boys and girls continues tomorrow. 